Hi guys, after a long day of cleaning yesterday, I needed something quick and easy to make for dinner. So I decided to make one of my childhood favorites, my grandma's calabacita recipe, which is a traditional New Mexican dish that is vegetarian, made with zucchini, onions, and peppers. There's many ways that you can make this dish and I'm gonna share with you how my family makes ours. So let's start cooking. Welcome to the Cooking with Amy's Kitchen Show. If you're looking for easy, delicious recipes that are budget friendly and are made with ingredients you most likely have at home, then you've come to the right place. Grab you some pen and paper and let's start cooking. So I'm making one of my absolute favorites. My grandma used to make it when I was a little girl. She still makes it when I go over and I ask her for it. 83 years old or not, she's still in that kitchen. And now I'm gonna share it with you. Here's the list of ingredients that you'll need. Two zucchinis, I've just washed them, cut them into quarters. Two Roma tomatoes, diced. One small onion, diced. About a cup of cheese of your choice. Some corn, it could either be canned or fresh, just make sure it's cooked. And we add green chili into ours. So I'm just using about one and a half of New Mexico hot green chili. It's roasted, I peeled it, and I took the seeds out and just gave it a quick chop. You'll need some garlic salt and some pepper. So I'm gonna get the camera set up and let's start cooking. I have my large pan all set up. I put two tablespoons of canola oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I have my flame on high, add my onions, little garlic salt and a little pepper you will add more seasoning later so just a little to start let these cook for a few minutes add the zucchini I'm gonna grab the lid get this covered and come back to check them in just a bit I'll let you know how long it takes it's been about three and a half minutes they're still pretty firm, but they're starting to um, change color, so that lets me know that they're cooking up just nicely. I'm gonna add my corn, my green chili, get that all mixed in. Let me add just a little more garlic salt. So in total, you're probably going to use close to a tablespoon of seasoning. You can adjust according to your taste. If you like fresh garlic, go ahead and use fresh garlic with salt and pepper. So I'm going to turn my flame down onto medium low, cover this up and let it cook for about four minutes and I'll be back. It's been about four and a half minutes. They're just now starting to get tender, not too mushy, just perfect. So I'm gonna turn the heat up just a bit, leave the lid off. You want some of that liquid that it gets when it's cooking. You know how your zucchini will release its water. Add the tomatoes. Give those a stir. The house smells so good. I, I just can't wait. And after a long day, whew, I just needed something quick and easy to make. And this is the perfect side dish. I'm gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes, then I'll be back and we'll add the cheese. My tomatoes are just how I like them not too mushy my zucchini is perfect it's soft but not too squishy so you're going to cook basically your zucchini the way that you like it if you want it more firm just cut down your cooking time i'm going to start adding some cheese i like to mix some of mine in let me get the fire turned off and now for the best part just gonna sprinkle the rest right on top. Get the lid on it. And I have my flame off, like I said, I'm just gonna let this sit until the um, cheese completely melts. 
I'm gonna make my quesadillas, finish up the sopa, and then I'll be back to take a bite. And now for the best part. So I just made a cheese quesadilla. So this meal is great for Meatless Monday or during Lent, it's just the perfect meal. It's hearty, it's delicious. Let me get some of my calabacita. Oh my God. Woo, I'm excited. And then let me just serve myself some sopa. And if you're not sure what sopa is, it's just a pasta and a tomato base broth, I guess you would explain it. Oh man, it's amazing. My girls can eat it all day long. All right. And then I made a quick salsa. So I like to add just a little bit on top of my calabacita, and then I add a little on my quesadilla as well. So let me give it a taste. Mm. So delicious. So good. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and follow me on Facebook, adding you to your watch list so you don't miss out on any great recipes. I can also be found on YouTube now. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit notification button on, and you guys will be in business. Bye-bye.